Gabo.
We want to greet you tonight in the joy of the Lord on this first night, well, really the second night of our revival. This is, we started yesterday with Palm Sunday, and we are so glad to see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six people on the Zoom tonight. So at this time, we're going to ask you just to unmute and give us a greeting this evening and just say good evening um, to the group tonight. Start with Sister James. Good evening, everybody. God bless you all. I love you. All right. And I see Sister Smith. Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody have a good day and a good evening. And glad to see you all. And thank the Lord for being here. All right. And, um, and Brother Daniels. Good evening to one and all. Hopefully you're having a safe and blessed day. And just love you and all right. And Brother Bruton is putting the chat. Good evening. Sister Henry. Good evening, everyone. It's good to hear everyone's voice. All right. Good to hear your voice, Sister Nakia. Good evening, everyone. This is Sister Nakia and Sister Gina. All right. Good to hear both of your voices tonight. Amen. Now, we're not going to prolong the time, but if you will, if you will bow your heads in a word of prayer as we get ready now to go into word of the Lord and the message for tonight. 
Gracious God, our Father, we come on this evening to thank you for bringing us through the, the trials of the day. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us to be on this Zoom tonight. We ask that you be in, in the midst of this Zoom call, that this revival will be everything that you wanted to be this week. We thank you for those Amen. who have Amen. zoomed in. We ask that you bless them. We thank you for St. Philip. We thank you for all churches who are celebrating in anticipation of the Lord's return this week. Amen. Uh, Jesus, have your way. Have your way in the scripture reading. Have your way in the message. We'll continue Amen. to give you all the honor and praise. We do love you and bless you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading will come tonight from Mark. If you have your Bibles, if you have your cell phone or your tablet, go to Mark 14, beginning at verse number 32. And there you will find these words from the New Living Translation of the Bible. They went to the Olive Grove called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, sit here while I go and pray. And he took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became deeply troubled and distressed. And he told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Sis Juanita Colson. He went on a little farther and fell to the ground. He prayed, that if it were possible, the awful hour awaiting him might pass him by. Abba, Father, he cried out, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me, yet not by my will, but your will be done. And then he returned and found the disciples asleep, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. For the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. And then Jesus left them again. He prayed the same prayer as before. And when he returned to them again, he found them sleeping. For they couldn't keep their eyes open and they didn't know what to say. And when he returned to them the third time, he said, go ahead and sleep, have your rest, but know the time has come. The son of man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Up, let's be going. Look, my betrayer is here. That is Mark 14, verse 32 through verse 42. I want to speak on this night, Monday night of Holy Week from the subject, a spiritual garden Sabbath, a spiritual garden salad. And before I get going, if someone will reach out to Sister Colson, she just tried to call. I think she's trying to get the link to the Zoom, if someone could forward her the email that she received uh, to or call her and ask her where to send that link so she can try to get on this evening. A spiritual garden salad. For all of us who are familiar with salad, all of us have E-N or have partaken in different types of salad. In a, in, a, in a garden salad, we find there are various vegetables that we use that are diverse vegetables to bring flavor to the salad that we're eating. In this spiritual context on this Monday night, we find a lot of things that are going on since Jesus has engaged in the Last Supper with the disciples. 
And after the supper, he led the disciples into a garden. And he led them into a garden to pray. He knew, he knew that his time was near. He knew that the time had come that he had to give up his life for us. And after the Last Supper, he decided to go into a garden. And, and any, for any of us who, who have a garden or been in a garden or even know uh, anything about gardens, we know that there are various things in a garden. You have grass, you have weeds, you have flowers, you have different kinds of insects, and there's a lot of activity that goes on in a garden. And in the spiritual sense, we see that when Jesus gets into the Garden of Gethsemane, he understands that there's going to be different dynamics that'll take place in the garden. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. No one knew what Jesus was about to do, but they knew they had to follow him wherever he led them. So the Bible says that when he got there, he went to a garden called Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. Jesus had specific instructions for his disciples as he prepared to give his life for them. He instructed them to sit down and, and pray. And let me not underestimate the power of prayer. All of us who know the power of prayer, you know that prayer changes things. Yes. Yes, prayer, prayer can do some exceedingly uh, and enjoyable things for you. If you talk to God and you lean on him and trust him, you know that God will make a way somehow. So Jesus Amen. instructed them to go and to pray. And let's understand during this week of holiness, we all should be praying. Amen. Oh, particularly, Amen. particularly this week, because this is the week that we understand that Jesus is getting ready to give his life once again for us. Mm -hmm. But understand yeah. that in a salad and in the different types of vegetables, there are different dynamics that go on, different flavors in a salad, and there's different flavors spiritually in this garden. Because if you read on, if you read on further, you understand that he says in verse number uh, 33 that James and John became deeply troubled and distressed. Oh, they were distressed because. They had a feeling that something was about to take place in the garden. They, they remember the conversation they had at the Last Supper when Jesus said someone was going to betray him. And, and that was still weighing heavy on their mind, not to mention that here they are in the middle of a garden and not knowing what is going to happen to Jesus. They became distressed. And let me tell you right now, yes, we all get distressed and depressed sometimes. Oh, I wish I had a witness. We all get concerned sometimes. Mm -hmm. We all get worried sometimes. Yeah. Notice what Jesus did. Jesus calmed them. He said, stay here and keep watch with me. You see, just the fact that Jesus was with them was meant to calm them and ease their distress. Yes, in the garden, they understood that they had Jesus with them. And for you on the Zoom call, even tonight on a Monday night, Jesus is right there with you. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to worry. Amen. You ain't got to Amen. worry about how things are going to unfold this week. You don't have to worry oh, yes. about what's going to happen yes. from day to day because Jesus is right there with you. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. Jesus is yes. right there with you. And yes. if you know he's Amen. with you, come on, somebody. You ought yes. to be glad and happy that even on Thank a Monday you. Thank night, you, Jesus. Thank even you, Jesus. on a Monday. is right there with you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you, Jesus. They, he said to stay here. Stay mm -hmm. here with me. I promise I'm almost through. He said he, he went on a little further. He went into this garden, into this 
spiritual garden salad because he knew that different things were happening in the garden. He knew that some people were depressed and some people were getting ready to betray him. He knew that he was getting ready to give his life. So even in your life, your life may seem all un about to unravel, all kinds of things going on in your life. But how many of you know mm -hmm. that Jesus knows everything that's happening in your garden? Amen. Amen. <laughs> He went on a little fell further and he fell to the ground. And when he fell to the ground, he prayed. Notice the dynamics that are taking place here. Jesus says this was possible. Father, he said, everything is possible for you. <laughs> everything. He says, I know, I know you've got all power in your hands, but if you might consider, take this cup from me. <laughs> Because Jesus is feeling the weight about what he's about to do. Mm -hmm. How many of you know that he had to carry a tremendous weight for all the people? Come on, somebody, because he yes, didn't did anything, but he had to he had to die for the things you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was heavy on him. And he cried out to God and he said, God, if if, if it's all possible, if, can we can we find another way to get this done? Can, can Is there another way, another sacrifice that we can give instead? He said, but you know what, God? It's not about me. It's not by mm -hmm. my will. Your will. Oh, yes. Yes, my brothers and sisters, every moment of your life, you, under, you need to understand it's not about your will. It's not about you. Amen. It's about what Jesus wants for you. Do I have a witness Amen. about what he wants to do in your life? And yes, it's about just trusting and depending on him to do the things that he said he was going to do. If you Amen. learn how to lean on him, come on. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I learned to lean on the yes. earth. Yes. You learn to lean on Jesus. Yes. You learn to understand that Jesus is a way maker. You ain't got to yes. worry about how tomorrow is going to work out. Because yes. you know that Jesus has already got it in his hands. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Not die. No, 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 God. Not, not by my will. Jesus said, this is not even about me. This is about mm -hmm. you. It's about what you want me to do for you. I've mm -hmm. got to give my life. I'm ready to give yes. it. Notice what happens in this garden salad. Know what happens next because it says he turned around and he found the disciples asleep. Mm -hmm. How many of us have fallen asleep on the Lord? Mm -hmm. How many? Oh, I wish I had a witness. Nobody is showing their picture tonight. Come on, somebody. I have to wonder. Come on, if somebody's eyes are heavy this evening. How many of you know? Come on, somebody. That that yes, we get tired sometimes, but don't fall yes. asleep on the Lord. Amen. Yes, oh, amen. Don't come on, somebody. If you can stay, if you can stay awake for things you like to stay awake for, surely you can stay awake for God. Amen. 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 The disciples asleep, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Uh, and amen. Come on, somebody. I only got 10 minutes. He said, he said, but you know what? Can't you just can't you just stay awake for an hour? Keep watching, yeah. pray. So you not give temptation to your body. Yeah. In these last 10 minutes, I want to tell you somebody that the spirit might be willing, Ooh. but sometimes your body gets weak. Amen. Jesus left Amen. him again and prayed the same prayer. And then when he returned again, he found them sleeping, for they couldn't keep their eyes open. Yeah. And didn't know what to say. Yeah. And when he returned to them the third time, he said, go ahead and sleep on a Monday night. He said, go ahead and get your rest. Go ahead and sleep because I'm about to do something. Come on, somebody, that you may not understand. And even in this spiritual garden salad, you got my fe the fears that you feel going on. You got me trying to talk to God. You got yourself falling asleep. But even in the midst of all that was going on in the salad, in, in the garden, Jesus knew that the plan for this week must go forward. Yes, <laughs> then the son of man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Yes, the time has come. Brothers and sisters, as I close out on this Monday night, the time has come 
time has come yes. for you to get your house in order. The time Amen. has come for you to praise his name Amen. one more time. The time yes. has come yes. to yes. God and trust him to do what he says he's going to do. The time has come for you to cast your cares on him. Because Amen. one day Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Somebody, he set the stage in the garden to show up and to show out in your life. And if there's anybody, yes, Lord. Anybody yes. Glory, anybody glory, the glory, glory. who's glad yes. to be yes. here on a Monday night, you yeah, ought to say yeah. thank you, God. Yeah. Say thank you yeah. from your Thank you. Say thank you from the kitchen. Say thank, thank you from your bedroom. But the wrong yeah. most yes. of all, give thanks to God because He's yes. making thank a way you. for you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. And a God of your you. life, the Spirit, thank come on, is with you today. Amen. Amen. Your body thank might be tired after a long yes. day's work. God is still yes. with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Believe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And if you tune in tomorrow night, we'll see what happens on Tuesday night when they come to get him. But I like to yes. believe that tonight God is still ready for whatever comes his way. Amen. 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 Trust in God. Yeah. Yeah. Trust in yeah. God, St. Philip. Trust believe in yeah. God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yes, hey. yes, yes. And God will yes. continue to see about you. Amen. Yes. Yes. Until yes. tomorrow yes. night. Y'all be yes. blessed. Yes. And hope yes. to see you back here on St. Philip's Zoom channel tomorrow. Tell somebody yes. else yes. to come and get their blessing tomorrow. Yes. 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 Our blessing Thank you, Lord. is on the way. Thank Good you, night yes. and yes. Godspeed. See you tomorrow night. Be blessed, everybody. Amen. God bless. Amen. Amen. God bless.